Hi, uh, this is Paul Shabby. Um, today I'll be doing a short review on the Seiko Prospect Field Master Lowercase SBEP001. This is called the Digi Tuna uh, because it has the tuna case but with additional display, um, solar powered, uh, as well as a small little computer that provides the um, altimeter barometer as well as compass now this is uh, effectively a uh, adventurous watch uh, 200 meters uh, of, of water pressure uh, but unlike a, a real tuna um, the shroud is made out of plastic um, the case back is uh, is not a screw down but uses for a plate uh, they use four screws uh, to attach it very akin to a Casio G-Shock uh, now uh, the reason why it's called lower case is because this was designed uh, in conjunction with uh, a famous uh, design bureau from Japan uh, called lower case uh, I know you have not heard of it I have not heard of it but it is they are very famous in Japan themselves so so this is the collaboration uh, with that uh, design bureau now if you want to know more detail about the specification of the watch uh, please go to the link in the description below and it will point you to a full written write-up so it gives you the dimensions as well as all the various specification now uh, today what i will just talk about is uh, how it feels like wearing it and how convenient it is um, to uh, to use it uh, whenever you go now this particular watch as i said is, a, is an adventurous watch it has everything um, and it, although the specification um, points to a very good uh, capability uh, with regards to what they can do and all that jazz but um, it is plasticky eh, but eh, sorry again if you if you have a G-Shock being have made out of plastic it wasn't it's not an issue it is really really strong so I suspect this is also equally as strong um, the only one thing that is also, that interests me is the fact that as you can see right at the edge of the uh, display dial you can see these various uh, track now this is actually the minute track so every minute that passes the, a marker will be lit so after 60 minutes you will see 60 markers being lit and once it passes 60 minutes everything disappears and it starts for one so this is actually a very good uh, visual indicator of um, uh, oh, if, if say for example you cannot refer to the time 728 so example now is 728 um, so you by just looking at where the markers are so you know that it's okay close to a half past the hour right so it's an, an, another visual cue um, a lot of buttons uh, here um, but then again uh, because of the uh, tons and tons of functionality of this watch you need to have the cap capacity or the capability to be able to uh, do whatever you need um, unlike a digital uh, unlike most digital clocks it has a bezel so this bezel can be turned if you if you need to um, so if you want it to say for example uh, do a timing of uh, 20 minutes or 50 minutes uh, you can actually do it now let me put it on my wrist and uh, I show you uh, how it looks like on the wrist um, the silken strap is silky smooth I like it um, but because the bulk of the construction is uh, plastic uh, it is actually very light um, and, and very comfortable so when, if you wear it uh, you don't you don't feel the weight at all um, unfortunately, like any tuna, uh, it's just a tall watch. But uh, if you are using it uh, for adventure or, or traveling uh, and all that jazz, it uh, should not be an issue. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks like on my wrist. Uh, I got a six and a four, three quarter inch wrist. This is how it looks like. Anyway, uh, give it a like, uh, follow this channel, and more reviews will be coming up in the future. Thank you.